Alright, what's going on guys? Lancey here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys my second text pack tutorial. So my last one got over 4,000 likes, which is absolutely insane because I've never gotten that many likes on a video before. So thank you guys so much for the support on that video and let's try to get a lot of likes on this video too. So let's go for 2,000 likes on this video and I'll bring my next episode out as soon as possible. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and yeah, let's get right into the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so part one of today's tutorial is going to be resizing. So, as you can see, there's a resize button. You go to image, resize, and as you can see, this is 256. This is extremely high resolution, not the best for low res computers. I mean, not low res, but like bad computers. <laughs> so, basically, what you're going to do is 32. Okay? And this is how people downscale stuff it's called downscaling items as you can see it's like kind of messed up like there's a pixel missing here so you just want to fill that in but it's called downscaling this is how people like make fps edits of packs there's also something called upscaling i will show you that so you can go from 32 i mean if you do 16 it looks kind of messed up like what what is that i don't even know for some sort it depends what it was originally like how much you can downscale it by so, okay, watch this. 64. Look, it's almost the exact same. Along with 128. See? So, it basically just makes it more FPS uh, friendly. But you're also, like, there's gonna be missing pixels because when you downscale stuff, it's like, weird. So, it's gonna be kind of uneven. You're gonna need to fix that. So, let's show you guys how to upscale items. So, let's go to 64. And upscaling is a little bit more difficult. Like as you can see for downscaling, you literally just like change a number. But like downscaling isn't always gonna work. Like for some sorts, it doesn't work. I'll show you that in a bit. So to upscale, let's see. Let's say this sort was originally 64x. I'm gonna go to image and you're gonna add 64. So we're just multiply it by two. And then it'll be 128. So you go to effect, noise, and median. It's basically like it just sharpens it a lot so it's like i don't know it just looks more hd and you're gonna need to choose a number that you seem fit where it looks normal you can have that that it looks like in my opinion this is way too skinny it also does look nice but you can't go like this like what i don't i don't even know but it needs to be like around this range honestly it's all personal preference of what you want so i think they're gonna go with this like look it's pretty nice if you want to go even higher to make more HD, you just multiply 128 by 2, which is 256. Effects, noise, median once again. And then, as you can see, it's a lot more HD. We need to clean it up like some effects. I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the upscaling and downscaling. So when you're resizing an item, you're going to want to make sure that Y absolute size and maintain aspect ratio are both selected before you do any resizing because if you have it on by percentage and like best quality or any of these this will happen where there's like textures and it'll just look really messy in game i mean you can still do that you just need to like raise this tolerance which just makes it like select more stuff and just delete all the they're called ghost textures i guess yeah it's kind of the same as you can see like there's still some missing it's just a lot more complicated to do it that way you might as well just do it this way all right so here we have 32x sword for my flame 32x pack and a 16x sword for my black and gold 16x pack i'm gonna give you guys a quick example of where like upscaling or downscaling doesn't work so look at this 16 dude this is literally like three pixels long it's just not good you can't go from 32x to 16x but you could go from 32x to 64x as you can see upscale it not look half bad just gotta edit it a little bit and so uh, with 16x, can't really go up. Like, let me show you guys. It's it's like sort of like so fat. I mean, unless you like that, you're gonna need to edit it a lot if you want to go up from 16x. So yeah, 16x is kind of weird. You can't really downscale or upscale from or to 16x. Uh, it's just like too low resolution. I would recommend around 32 to 64x or maybe 128 if it's really high res like this. So when I make packs like this, which are 256, I always have like a lower FPS or lower resolution version for people who have really bad computers or just like not the greatest computers. Because when you're becoming a pack breaker, you know, you want to have your packs to be able to use by everyone, not just people who only have good computers. 
So you're always going to want to have like an FPS version to a high res pack. So it's really simple. Like I just showed you guys in the tutorial. I usually either make it 128 if it's 256 or if it's uh, 128, I'll make it 64. I mean, they look the same. Like, just look at it. You know? You're always going to want to have a lower version of your texture pack for people who have bad computers just so everyone can use them. I'm going to give you guys some examples of how I've upscaled textures. So look at my Kira PS uh, revamp pack. I upscaled the sword and added some effects onto it. It doesn't look like the normal one. Along with my Shant V4 revamp, I know you said you can't upscale default swords, but it can be done. It's just like a lot more difficult, a lot more editing. So what? let me get a good uh, screenshot of the sword. Oh, that's the default one. All right, like right here. As you can see, it's, it's like it's like really fat. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really like swords that, that are fat like that, but I mean, obviously some people do. So yeah, those are just two examples of how uh, I've upscaled some textures or revamped, some people call it. That is going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from this tutorial. Let me know what I should cover in the next tutorial by commenting down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Hope you have the great rest of your day and peace.